Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are scheduled to interview Luke Pez Dispenser, just kidding, Jake Peets, for their offensive coordinator position. Joining me, as he has done for the past couple of videos, is Mr. Evan Wanish. Evan, Jake Peets, huh? Or Luke Pez Dispenser, if you don't remember the guy's name. Yeah, you know, always love Pez, so uh, that's that's, that's Pretty always good. good. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. You know, for for a guy only 39 years old, yeah. Jake Peets has a ton of coaching experience. Let me, let me read you this list here as a coach. Starts in 2006, folks. That's a young age to start as, as a head as a, not a head coach, but coaching. Uh, I mean, Santa Barbara City College, he was a special teams coordinator, safety coach, strength and conditioning coordinator. Went to UCLA, was a defensive assistant. Then in Jacksonville as, as the assistant quarterback's coach. Then he went to Alabama uh, as the offensive analyst. Then he went to Washington as an offensive quality control coach. Then he was with the Raiders uh, in different roles from 2015 to 2017, including in 2017 he was the quarterback's coach. In Alabama again in 2018 as an offensive analyst. 2019, he was the Panthers running backs coach. 2020, he was the Panthers quarterbacks coach. And then he went to LSU in 2021. It was the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. And then he's been with the Rams for the past two seasons as the pass game specialist. He was even a scout for the Jacksonville Jaguars for a brief period of time. So what this tells me, though, is obviously while he's young, he has a ton of coaching experience, a ton of different spots. And he's been a quarterbacks coach at multiple spots. And also, even though he was in college, he has been an offensive coordinator before, right? So he has experience of calling plays, of being in that role, and I think that matters. So I do think a guy like Jake Peets could get a, a pretty significant look here by the Buccaneers. And obviously, there is a Baker Mayfield connection here. Uh, it was a short period of time, but Baker Mayfield played what was it five or six games with the Rams in 2022. So Jake Peets is uh, familiar with Baker Mayfield a little bit. Baker's familiar with him a little bit. So uh, we will see how this progresses. But I always I found it interesting, you know, when when I first heard that they were interviewing him, and I looked it up, and I was like, man, this guy. This guy is awfully young to be having this much coaching experience. So um, it is very interesting to see, and, and I do think he's a legit candidate for this job. Yeah, he started coaching when he was 21. I was doing the math while we were going down the list. But, no, so many different organizations, right? I mean, it awesome that he worked at Alabama, right, under a coach like Nick Saban. That's certainly great. Um, being an offensive coordinator at LSU – even if it's at the college level, I mean, LSU is one of the biggest and most professional college football programs you're going to find out there, right? So I feel like much like in a player who would play for one of those organizations, a coach who would coach at one of those organizations is still an extremely valuable experience, right? So I agree with you 100% on that point. As you said, a big thing here is his former connection with Baker Mayfield. 2022 to the present day, he was the pass game specialist, not even the coordinator, just a, a pass game specialist. What does that mean? I I don't know. But, you know, it, it does show that a guy like Sean McVay values the experience that Jake Peets has. And there's a lot of experience there, Evan. So, no, I agree with you on all those points. It is going to be interesting to see. You know, the Buccaneers get him in here for an interview. He does have play calling experience, which does certainly matter, in my opinion. He's got so many different <laughs> experiences to pull from to form his overall offense. So that would be very interesting. Of course, it, it may be something very similar to what he ran at LSU, Evan. But this is a guy who I think definitely has a lot to his game. Uh, he, he's coming from the L.A. Rams um, and a Sean McVay. I mean, a lot of different coaching trees, to be fair. But, um, you know, the fact that he's with the L.A. Rams right now definitely holds some value. I think that they're a very well-ran organization. Um, and he spent some time with some other really good head coaches in the past as well. Jack Del Rio, Nick Saban, as well as some others. Matt Rule, meh, you know. But um, this is a valuable candidate. In my opinion, he would be towards the top of my list. If not, at, he would probably be my number one guy. What do you think? Uh, I don't know if I would have him as my number one guy just because I'm always 
more on the side of giving another guy a shot, right? Giving a guy who hasn't received that chance yet, right? Like the Buccaneers did w- w- with a Dave Canales. Um, you know, Jake Pete's already being an offensive coordinator. Uh, you know, he's already been in multiple roles. And here's the one thing, though. And again, you can say, well, you know, um, basically it might not be all his fault. Like the, he might have joined like some, you know, lame duck coaching staffs, but I, I mentioned all the roles he has and it's, I mean, Jacksonville for one year, Alabama for one year. Then he went to Washington for a year. Then he was with Oakland for three years, but then he went to Alabama again for one year, was with Carolina for two years, was with LSU for one year. Doesn't show me much stability. Um, and w- which could lead to, yes, it could lead to that coaching staff that he was on just getting cleaned out for sure. Uh, at the same time, though, uh, it could also mean that, look, he just maybe wasn't doing that good of a job, you know? So that that is something that, that gives me a little bit of pause when it comes to him. Now, I will say that I, I do think that matters where – you talk about Sean McVay, right? Sean McVay, incredible eye for talent, right? Just a a great eye for offensive talent and specifically offensive coaches, right? I mean, we just saw Zach Robinson get an offensive coordinator job. It's because Raheem Morris got the head coaching job. So we've seen the the Sean McVay tree uh, really develop here. And uh, I do think that, I mean, he deserves an interview for sure. You know, Jake Pete, you know, deserves an interview. It's just, I don't know if he'd be my top choice because that does worry me a little bit. and, And that, and I understand that LSU, Lost a lot of talent that season from the 2020 to the 2021 season, but uh, LSU's record that year was six and seven, and uh, their their offense was very up and down. So it wasn't like they were a dominating offense anyway. Uh, so there is some reservations there, but I don't think it'd be the worst candidate in the world. Yeah, I mean Sean McVay was also a part of that um, Washington coaching staff in 2014 with Jake Pete. So there. There is definitely a uh, a bit of a connection there. Not necessarily, maybe he was. I mean, you know, people people talk about that um, legendary coaching staff that the uh, Washington Washington team had back, and I think it was like 2013. Evan, is that correct? Yeah, it was. Every good head coach that you can think of in the NFL was on that staff. So I'm not gonna list them off. It's yeah, every he, good coach. Kyle every Shanahan, good coach was on that staff. Yeah, Kyle Shanahan, Matt LaFleur, Mike McDaniel, Sean McVay. Um, those four were Raheem, all there. Raheem, Raheem, Raheem Morris now Ra- on that. Raheem Morris was there as well. Um, dude, Bobby Slowick was on that yep. staff. I didn't even yeah, know that. It's... He was out here coaching linebackers. Um, so it it is interesting. It is interesting. Mike Shanahan <laughs> freaking knew what he was doing, I suppose. Um, but you know, it's essentially Jake Peets was a year off on that from being a part of that legendary group as well. So um, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this move. Of course, we'll just have to pay attention and stay locked in and uh, see if uh, Jake Peets might become may, might end up becoming the offense coordinator. So let us know your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comment section below, guys. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Go check out Evan's work over at BucksNation.com. Go check him out over on Instagram and the Cannon Fire podcast as well. But, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, we'll see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.